Good morning, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, and thanks to all our witnesses for being here. Some uh, familiar faces back at the table. We appreciate your uh, your guidance and counsel on these matters. I, I want to thank my, my colleague from California, Ms. Eshu. We worked a lot on these issues going back over a number of years, and uh, thank you for your leadership. And <laughs> still, We're still not there, uh, but we're working at it. It's a, obviously an issue I've cared about a lot over the last couple of decades, and some of my friends will remember when the stimulus bill was being voted through this committee. I pled, begged, and even had an amendment to do the mapping before the money went out, and unfortunately, we came up a few votes That's short on that. <laughs> But uh, maybe today we'll, we'll begin this process because the money needs to go where it's needed and, and not uh, overbuild and, and serve these markets that claim uh, on the maps that, that are already served, but yet they aren't. Um, and so while the incentives have expanded, broadband access uh, and made communicating and participating in the 21st century economy easier than ever before, much work remains to connect all Americans to high-speed Internet broadband. Uh, I want to use an example, Weston, Oregon, which is in eastern Oregon in my district, the mayor, uh, Jennifer Spurgeon, describes their internet service as being dial-up just without the modem noise. All right, and she told uh, Chairman Pai that when he was out uh, a year or so ago, and I, I thought it was a pretty good line. Uh, they frequently experience, obviously, uh, sub-megabit speed, sub-megabit. So you can imagine how surprised they were when uh, the FCC's map said they had 100 megabit service. And so they were a little surprised because they, uh, yeah, it's, it's dial up without the modem noise. Uh, uh, as chairman of this committee, we worked in a bipartisan fashion the last Congress, as maybe you'll recall, to enact legislation to promote rural broadband. And I'm hopeful we can build on that same spirit of bipartisanship. We included provisions in the Ray Bombs Act to improve the methodology for the collection of mobile service coverage, to streamline e access to easements and rights away and lease requests for deploying communications equipment on federal property. Just for the record, my district's over 50% federal land, so trying to do anything out there uh, can be very time-consuming, costly, and burdensome. And we wanted to improve efficiency of spectrum allocation. So as we continue our, our oversight of Ray Bombs Act, as well as our efforts to spur broadband deployment in rural America, we must also ensure the Universal Service Program is efficiently and effectively reaching truly unserved parts of America. So I applaud Chairman Pai for his leadership on this front, proposing a rural digital opportunity fund using cost-efficient reverse auctions to better allocate limited financial support from the feds. At the same time, we must ensure the FCC is relying on accurate and sufficiently granular information when making these decisions. There are areas that we all know are unserved. That's pretty obvious. And then, of course, we, we know of the underserved areas. Uh, but what we really need are really good maps that show us for sure. Um, the Senate's already moved a consensus bill through their committee to address this issue, which I believe represents a, an interesting path. The legislation before us today rightly underscores the importance of this issue and the attention it has earned among members of the committee. Um, there are a number of issues with which Republicans are committed to working on with our counterparts, such as how we're going to provide funding, how to balance uh, public, publicly available information, and how to improve data sources, and how we can best leverage the data to the greatest extent possible across the federal government. Other members have also put forward bills to address rural broadband challenges, and these proposals deserve consideration as well, and I expect we'll hear about some of those other bills today. So again, Mr. Chairman, thanks for your leadership on this. Thanks for holding this hearing today, and we look forward to working in a good bipartisan spirit to connect America and to have maps that show uh, the truth. So we're, we're all about facts and truth here, so let's get her done. Thank you. I yield back.